Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Rudy again with Yuri Artivis and welcome to spring in Alberta. That means we have to assess the yard in order to see what the damage is, if there is damage, after the long and hard winter we have had this year. So I'm going to walk through my own yard here at the Yuri Artivis headquarters and I'm going to let you know what you can do early spring in order to get your yard and especially lawn back up to life as quick as possible after the winter time. So here we can see there is a ton of leaves on the lawn that need to be cleaned up because leaves in this excess mean they are choking down the lawn and it can't really come back up to life because it's blocking the sunlight and trapping excessive moisture to the ground which will also mean um, reasoning for diseases to creep into the lawn for moisture not able to dry out. So pick up the leaves here, very important you, you do. Just grab a rake, make them off and dispose them either in your bin, in your organic bin or dispose into your regular garbage. And if you come across any big branches on the lawn, twigs, branches, pick them up as well because they will be a hazard when you do your first lawn cut as well. So just pick them up. And here you can see the lawn is kind of like matted down. What you uh, can do is basically grab a rake again and just rake it up, fluff it up. So we get some proper air circulation in between the grass blades and down to the, the uh, root system. And what that will do, once you put down fertilizer and uh, even the rain that comes in the spring, uh, if you fluff it up, it can go right into the soil system and down to the roots where it's actually needed. Otherwise, the water will run off and the fertilizer won't be able to go down to the roots rather than just sitting on top. So here we have the remnants of snow mold. This is caused by excessive and long periods of snow on the ground and um, by shaded areas but now the sun is coming up higher in the spring so this will dry out eventually if uh, the snow mold uh, causes allergies to you um, have someone that isn't uh, prone to allergies rake it up again fluff up the lawn around it uh, because it needs proper airflow around the area so the snow mold basically um, disappears. It's not a hazard to the lawn. Eventually it will basically disappear on its own, but it's always good to speed things up by raking it up around. And another issue is, I guess we are down to point 3.5 or on what to do, assess any critter damage. So here we have most likely mice or voles, that, that's with a V. Uh, they kind of like look like a tiny mouse, but they are like considered a wall. So what they do, they basically have like little channels or tunnels in the lawn here. And they basically feed off the, the base layer on the lawn. What you will then end up is with these fluff balls here, sit on the lawn. It basically looks more disastrous than it actually is. Most times the lawn will fill in on its own and you don't really have to do much rather than just taking off that debris of the lawn here and dispose. So there you have it guys. Again, these are the three things you can do in early spring. Bringing your lawn and your yard back up to life and making it presentable again. So number one was picking up any excessive uh, leaves on the lawn. Simply rake them up and dispose them in your organic uh, bin or put them into your household garbage wherever your debris gets uh, collected. Pick up any big branches or twigs that have come down over the winter or last fall or this spring because they will be a hazard when you put your lawnmower down the first time. Point number two is rake up those matted lawn areas that are like really pressed down. Uh, what that will do is it will increase the uh, ability for water like rainwater to go back right down into the roots rather than just running off and it also allows the fertilizer 
product to uh, go right down to the root system and then go into the soil system rather than just uh, sitting on top of that matted down lawn. And the third thing you can do is assess for any uh, damage on the lawn that can be a snow mold so this can uh, be raked up and it will basically disappear on its own once the uh, temperatures go up and the sun will hit that area and the airflow will increase around the lawn blades because it's it's basically uh, caused by extensive periods of snow sitting on top of the lawn so uh, once the snow is off eventually the snow mold will disappear too and also assess for any damage from critters uh, that have basically dug into your lawn and pick up those uh, fluff or debris sitting on top of the lawn with your rake just dispose it don't worry most times those uh, damages will fill in with the lawn over the next few weeks in the spring so there you have it guys those are three things to do in early spring that almost everyone can do. This is Rudy here with your yard service. If you need some help and assistance with your yard, give us a call 780-218-8134 or go to our website if you need more information, youryardservice.com or shoot us an email contact at youryardservice.com. Hope you're having a fantastic spring. It's a very exciting time because Mother Nature is incredible. Bounces right back after a long and hard winter here in the Edmonton region. And yeah, enjoy your time out in the yard. And happy spring to you all. This is Rudy here with your Yard Service. Talk to you later.